Hey everyone, welcome back to Daily Devotions. Here we are, uh, walking in the fruit of the Spirit, and we only have three left, if I can count that right. Goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. So goodness this week, and then three left after that. Where have we ventured before, and it's just such a nice chronological, uh, righteous walk um, in the fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of the uh, Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, forbearance, long-suffering, put all those in together uh, as we have there, uh, patience, kindness, kindness, and as we get to see kindness, then goodness. Now, what's the difference between kindness and goodness? Well, when you get into, and I hate to be the uh, the Greek guy, but I'm going to be the Greek guy for just a second here. Uh, when you get into the difference between goodness and kindness, they kind of are synonymous in the English there, um, but goodness means in that Greek uprightness of heart and life. Uprightness of heart and life. And so when we get to see that, what's the, what's the, what's the difference? Goodness is the uprightness of heart and life, that we act out true goodness out of the heart. We're actually being obedient to God, as what we'd say there. But kindness mainly involves being generous and considerate and helping others. Being kind, kind or kindness is being generous and considerate and helping others. Goodness involves righteousness in action or doing what is right. So they lead and they correspond with one another. But they are two separate and different fruits of the Spirit. Spirit gives kindness so that as the Spirit works through us, it actually goes towards the other. Whereas the Spirit of goodness resonates inside of us and impacts that heart of being righteous, being right with God, and then doing what is right. Not natural according to sinful flesh, as we get to see in Galatians 5 there, but also doing what is good and honorable for our walk of faith. In Galatians chapter 5, or it just leads right into Galatians chapter 5, going into verse 6. So I'm going to read the rest of chapter 5, uh, open up there with me, Galatians 5, the fruit of the Spirit, and then heading into Galatians chapter 6, where it says, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such thing there is no law, those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the sinful nature with his passions and desires. And since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking, and envying each other. Going into these next verses. My uh, title of chapter 6, those are added later. Even the chapters are added later, as Pastor Andrew speaks about in his Bible studies quite often. We get to see in chapter 6, it says, doing good to all. So let's read together chapter 6 there. It says, Brother, if someone is caught in a sin, you who are spiritual should restore him gently. Don't just let him sit in that sin. You should restore him, have restoration, have reconciliation. You who are of the Spirit, the fruit of the Spirit, use those fruits for restoration, not to just let him sit in sin, which amounts to death, but rather Bring him what you have, overflow the Spirit of God, and restore him to life. But do it gently. But watch yourself, or you may also be tempted. <laughs> it's a powerful tempt, sin, because that's our nature. But we've crucified that nature, as it says just in those verses before. Crucified the nature, put him to death, so that we live by the Spirit. And that's also the Spirit's work. In our life. That's why you'll always, almost always hear me say, Spirit of God, in my prayer, Spirit of God, do your work. I don't want to be that natural sinner, but rather I want to be that newborn of the Spirit person. So watch out, or you be tempted as well. Verse 2, carry each other's burdens, and in this way you will fulfill the law of Christ. If anyone thinks he is something when he is nothing, he deceives himself. Each one should test his own actions. Then he can take pride in himself without comparing himself to somebody else. For each one should carry his own load. Each one should carry his own load, but carry each other's burdens. How does that 
<laughs> work together. Each one should have the responsibility to carry his own load, to walk by the Spirit. However, we know that we will fail in our sin. That's why the community is just continually generous towards others of being able to carry each other's burdens. The kindness of one another by the Spirit gives that generosity and brings that into the community. The goodness is that uprightness of heart and life, of the striving of sanctification, meaning to live a holy life. The Spirit of God is in us. We live according to the Spirit, but we know we trip up sometimes and fall in sin. That's where we need others in the community to be able to restore us, to be able to carry our burdens, even though they're doing everything they can and we're doing everything we can to carry our own load. But yet we know God has designed us to be in relationship with each other, to carry one another's burdens, to have kindness and generosity towards the but have goodness uprightness of heart and life as best as we can fighting against that sinful nature it continues to go on verse six it says anyone who receives instruction in the word must share all good things with his instructor do not be deceived god cannot be mocked a man reaps what he sows the one who sows to please his sinful nature from that nature will reap destruction the one who sows to please the Spirit, from the Spirit will reap eternal life. Let us not become weary in doing good. For at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us do good to all people, especially to those who belong to the family of believers. Let us do good to all people. Don't become weary of doing good. Don't get judged or perceived and being able to say, you know what, that person over there isn't the goodness and uprightness of their heart and life. And they seem like they're just successful. They seem like they're doing better. Uh, maybe I should just throw away my walk of faith because I should just, it looks like that's the way. The way of the world is destruction. It just says that you reap what you sow. And so walking in uprightness of life, walking in the goodness of of life is the path that God has for you. And in due time, you will reap a harvest of having that uprightness of heart, of being able to walk in righteousness because of what God has directed you to rather than walking in a sin-filled world. Yeah, they might look successful for a season, but we have uprightness of heart and life, righteousness for everlasting. Yeah, that's my walk of faith. And that's what I pray that you have this day. Kindness and generosity towards others, great. But goodness, the fruit of goodness, the uprightness of life and heart, that we walk by faith, not by sight. We walk by the Spirit, not of sin. We walk in righteousness because Jesus Christ has won that righteousness and given us that righteousness. Uh, taste and see that the Lord is good. We'll get that in the next couple of videos. Blessings to you as you walk in goodness this day by the Spirit. Have a blessed day.